welcome back to SK Monikers and we are back again with some new questions and today we have some questions based over the concepts of differentiation and this was given to uh, Rohit Bhai, someone named Rohit Bhai asking me to solve the two given questions here on the board. So I am just solving your question Rohit Bhai now. Starting with the first number that is we have to find dy by dx of y equals x by sin x and the second is dy by dx of y equals x squared plus 1 by e power x. So starting with the first that is we have to evaluate the dy by dx of y equals x by sin x. Okay this is our question. So if I have to find the answer here, I know, I know what is the value of y, I have to just differentiate it with respect to x. So what I want to do now is my dy by dx will be what? Putting the value of y in this, at the place of y we can put x by sin x because both the values are just same. So dy dx as it is and this is x by sin x. I want, now want to evaluate it and if we remember it correctly so it seems in the form of dy by dx of y equals suppose u by v. We can just use u by v method. We study a lot of methods in differentiation, integration, uh, basic mathematics we can say. Calculus as a whole that is used a lot in physics and we also study u by v method. Means when y is given in the form of u by v in the form of rational number fraction then how can we evaluate the dy by dx for that. So this is not like the addition or subtraction that partially one by one we can do. This is quite division. How can we do that? So if I try now u by v method for that, if we try uh, the u by v method for that, again I would also like to write here the formula if I can. Suppose this is u by v. Differentiation of uh, with respect to dx of u by v. So we do down here v squared. Okay, whatever is denominator, it's a square. And to the numerator, v multiplied by du by dx minus and then is u multiplied by dv by dx. First of all, v square we know. Then we take v here as a single and multiply with its differential and subtract it by we take u here outside as a u may call constant and then we differentiate the v with respect to x. And then we get our answer. So according to that, if I take this as u and this as v. So I will try it as upon sin x squared. Upon sin x squared. And then I will take u. Sorry, v. V here is sin x. So this is sin x. Multiplied by what? Multiplied by the differentiation of x with respect to dx itself and then minus subtracted by what term subtracted by taking x as an outside here is x multiplied by the differentiation of sin x with respect to x for now i would also like to try it dx by dx is what dx by dx is of course one okay suppose that is dy by dy is one dz by dz is one and d of any number suppose x you may call it da by da is one because what is the meaning of differentiation we can understand what is the meaning of dy upon dx dy by dx it is how y is changing with respect to x that as we increase x how y increases decreasing the values so how y depends on x actually x depends on x okay so this is of course means it seems rather confusing x is depending on x itself so but of course it depends that's the reason it is dx by dx is always one so this is sin x minus this is x multiplied by what x multiplied by d of sin x by dx now d of sin x by dx uh, here actually if we want to really evaluate it 
सो विल हैव टू गो इन टू द डीप मैथमेटिक्स विल हैव टू गो इन टू डीप मैथ्स बट आई जस्ट सपोज आई सपोज वी आर डूइंग इट फॉर फिजिक्स मीन्स बेसिकली इफ वी लुक ओवर इट सो डिफ्रेंसिएशन इज टॉट इन मैथमेटिक्स एज वेल एज इन फिजिक्स फॉर द रिक्वायरमेंट ऑफ फिजिक्स बिकॉज इफ वी ट्राई टू स्टडी थ्रू मैथमेटिकल वेज सो विल वेन विल इवन क्रॉस हाफ ऑफ इलेवेंथ एंड देन विल बी एबल टू लर्न डिफ्रेंसिएशन एंड अप टू दैट आई विल बी स्टक इन कैनमेटिक्स एंड रोटेशनल मोशन इन फिजिक्स सो इट इज टॉट इन द फर्स्ट चैप्टर आई थिंक इन फिजिक्स okay in different different books in ncert it is in third chapter that's why we do not require to go into total mathematics d of sin x by dx is using the force principle that is very long that is total mathematics so we are not going to do is i'm doing this from the physics point of view so we know the formula we just know the formula we have derived it now because we are doing physics so but we can just do it this is x multiplied by cos of x differentiation of sin x with respect to x is cos x divided by sin x whole square i like to say is sin square x now this is maths this is maths and this is a uh, you can say it is most learned formula that sin x whole square is always sin square x and remember sin x whole square you can never write as sin x square this is something like wrong but yeah this is correct x square it is not possible but it is to have sin square x so upon sin x square you may write as sin square x now if you want you can also cancel the terms so whether if you want you can write this as your answer but if you want you can evaluate something of more here is sin x here is sin square x or uh, if you want we can do something quite a special what we can write here is again here sin x square okay that would be indeed good the sin x sin x whole square so this will cancel the one term here are two terms in multiplication this can cancel one but this will have to also so as a whole if we try to write it in a proper manner here is one here is 1 by sin x minus now here is as it is x cos x by it is sin x square or sin square x this can be your answer if you want more we can always try for something you in every kind of answer we can evaluate more and more this can be your answer this can be your answer but if you want to get it in a very short unified formula so you can try 1 by sin x as cos x this is cos x x now minus and this is x dot cos x by a single sin x is what it is something like cot x so finally we are getting cot x divided by something like sin x okay just like i would say that sin x by cos x gives us tan x so if i do reciprocal of tan x i get reciprocal of sin x by cos x reciprocal of tan x is cot x so cot x is cos x by sin x so we can write a single sin x mod uh, cos x divided by a single sin x will give us cot x but then is again then is something like again will be getting something like sin x there will be one more sin x so we can e even evaluate that if you don't wish you can also leave it something like here if you wish you can just leave it here and that will be also a possibly good answer so i would like to end up here this can be just now our final answer if you wish if you wish to you can write even this as your answer even this as your answer then we can just evaluate more and more so for me this was just my answer the question solved now now we are going to move to our next question and again let us rub all this kind of thing so again moving back to a point and we are going to solve the question number second i mean the dy by dx of y equals x square plus 1 by e power x now this is question of something kind of exponential here is also exponential here is e power x so that would be a uh, great now we are going to solve our question again if i try for my dy by dx so this will be something like d of x square plus 1 by e power x by dx 
So this is now my question that what will be the d by d, uh, dy by dx of y equals this value x square plus 1 by e power x. I'd again like to write the formula that dy by dx of y equals u by v equals what? Equals upon v square first of all taking v out multiplying it with the differentiation of du okay that is with respect to x minus taking u outside and then is dv by dx so according to this kind of formula if i continue going so what i'll say is this is u and this is v this is u and this is v so for trying it to the next i'd like to say this is e power x is v so this is v square i mean e power x square e power x square now taking e power x i mean v as outside this is multiplied with what this is multiplied with the differentiation of x square plus 1 with respect to x minus subtracted by what taking x square plus 1 outside multiplying it with the differentiation of e power x with respect to dx <coughs> now if i now try this kind of thing e power x is e power x as it is and this is multiplied with something like x square plus 1 differentiation with respect to x so if we remember that if we remember the d of x square plus 1 by dx so that is what that is d of x square with respect to x plus d of 1 with respect to x so this is what d of x square here is this is of the form x power n so here what our answer will be that will be n x power n minus 1 i mean 2 will be down here x power 2 minus 1 and that is again here is 2 minus 1 and plus differentiation of any constant number is always 0 this is a constant number what we mean by differentiation is how the quantities are varying how the slope of the graph is varying this is the meaning of differentiation that's why we perform differentiation but there's no meaning of differentiation when there's no variation when the slope is constant so there's no meaning for it here it is differentiation of 1 with respect to dx is then 0 this is 2x as a whole e power x multiplied with 2x minus x square plus 1 multiplied by differentiation of e power x with respect to x is always 0 sorry is always e power x itself it will be e power x itself if we also just integrate e power x then also we'll be getting e power x plus a constant of integration so this is e power x actually there's also a reason behind that and it also includes logarithms it includes the concepts of logarithms we are just not going to cover for now okay we are going to do the question a very nice and brilliant question and here is our denominator i mean the v squared <coughs> now what i say is e power x e power x and one of e power x here are two e power x e power x into e power x because here was e power x squared so what i mean to say is if there are two e power x so e power x and e power x because here subtraction symbol instead of multiplication so we'll have to cancel all of them to one those two by mixing together will be able to cancel one of e power x okay this seems strange it should be that e power x will cancel this one e power x and this will cancel this one but that is not correct when they all mix together when the two e power x add the numerator which are with subtraction symbol so d together cancel a single one or they will be not able to so our e power x is cancelled so here what we get is something like 2x minus opening the brackets x square minus 1 divided by something like is we are left with a single e power x i mean the dy by dx of y equals x square plus 1 by e power x is what is 2x minus x square minus 1 by e power x and this is our final answer again 
and the two of our questions are again solved and i just like the questions a lot based uh, they were just based over differentiation and as uh Ruth bhai i have already solved the question and hope you all viewers like the video enjoyed the video and thanks to you all viewers for watching this video and jen jay bharat